Hi everybody, it's your guy here, The Unknown, and today I want us to look at something very important. Okay, so uh, please stay till the end of this video because you're gonna learn a lot. Okay, guys, we are not smart people. If we were smart people, we were actually gonna end up being uh, scientists, uh, doctors, pilots, and all sort of stuff. Or okay, therefore we are traders our job is not to be smart our job is not to actually beat the market our job is not to outsmart the market okay we are not trying to outsmart market makers okay because actually there is a statistics that proves that scientists doctors pilots and all those kind of people they really really suck when it comes to trading i'm sorry okay if you are one of them okay and the reason is actually the fact that markets do not reward smart people, okay? You can succeed if you are one of those people I've mentioned, uh, smart people. But one thing you have to know is that markets will never or never reward smart people, okay? It's not about being smart, okay? There is already a statistic that says 90 to 95% of traders are losing money. So our job is not to try to be smart and outsmart the market. Our job is actually to find out where the market has beat the hell out of people and then we enter in line with the market because obviously the market is going to be highly 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 tricky and they're going to throw a lot of tricks more especially if you're an intraday guy okay it's all about manipulation and manipulation is about throwing tricks so they're going to throw a lot of tricks but there's one thing guaranteed they will never be able to hide and that's their footsteps as it has already been mentioned that charts do not predict prices Okay, uh, Edward McGee has actually said that they do not predict where prices are going to go. However, they show us where prices have been. So one thing we are certain about is we know where prices have been. We know what they have already accomplished. Okay, so we know when they have beat the hell out of retail guys and we go in line with them. Okay, so that's the most important thing. So guys, with that said, let me show you something very important. Okay, first of all, I want us to... Um, look at this we spoke about having a setup okay that's the most important thing if you don't have a setup okay or a strategy okay then you shouldn't be trading because your your job is actually guessing okay fortunately on this channel we have a playlist called understanding setups okay that's where we have discussed three setups because that's one thing i'm most in, uh that's uh the kind of setups i'm actually interested in and that's what i follow okay i've discussed all three setups but uh you don't need to know all the setups okay you can master only one and uh to help everybody i've i've made a book i was supposed to upload it today but i will upload it guys uh kindly be patient i will upload it okay so uh, that book has only one setup and the reason i put one setup uh in that book is because i know people are trying to learn uh, thousands of setups okay and that will never help you master one setup make it your a plus setup take it day in and day out when it is presented okay that's what will help you and then another important thing we talked about patience okay so once you have a setup what you have to do is actually to be patient okay and uh one way i actually control my patience is actually waiting for the equity to open okay you know that uh it's uh it's actually 9 30 for us or for us okay for the new york opening equity opening time and it is actually 3 30 for london okay so those are the times i wait for i do not trade before the equity opens i repeat i do not trade before the equity opens okay and you'll see that on the charts if you are following me for a while you already know that uh that's what i do i do not trade yes sometimes there will be moves that will happen earlier like yesterday we did have uh some good news some good moves uh or good trades uh early in london session uh for euro jpy and uh, uh pound jpy but i don't trade before the equity opens so i am gonna miss a number of trades i don't care okay actually i'm not missing because they're not part of my plan I want to be consistent and I want to do something I understand and I want to have the edge, okay? So I always wait for the equity to open, okay? And one thing uh, we pay close attention to is key levels, okay? We have three key levels that we talk about every day and we will actually uh, talk about them now as we're going to go to the charts, okay? And then another important thing we have to look for is trapping, 
okay i told you we are not trying to outsmart the market we are not trying to beat the market our job is to find out where uh, the market has beat the hell out of traders because we know that 90 to 95 percent of retail guys are gonna lose okay that's a statistics that has been maintained for many decades okay so uh the market will actually cease to exist if it starts giving money to everybody else that is if more retail guys were profitable markets were gonna cease to exist because the main role for all uh, the main role of markets is to move money from everybody else and give it to the few people who i believe uh are world leaders they are the ones who own uh the real market makers the manipulators okay because we can't talk about uh hedge funds and banks when we talk about intraday trading those are those guys are long-term traders they don't move the markets uh on a daily basis okay okay because they are long-term traders they actually focus on fundamentals okay so we have real market makers uh okay who are actually hired to beat the hell out of retail traders okay so guys uh we have to know where the market has beat the hell out of people and for this i've explained uh, i think in my previous two videos uh i've explained the patterns okay patterns if you follow this channel and you saw that video you already know we have uh m's which are double tops we have uh triple tops we have head and shoulder head and head and shoulder pattern okay actually let me show you these are the patterns. These are the patterns that are actually used to trap traders. Okay, head and shoulders. We have something like a uh, half Batman. Okay, and we have a uh, double bottom, triple or uh, sorry guys, my drawing is bad today. Okay, we have a uh, triple, triple bottoms. They come in a variety of variations. Okay. I will make another video where we focus our, uh, on patterns alone, okay? And then we have our head and shoulder. And then we also have the inverted uh, half Batman. And then we also have things like uh, triangles where maybe you find that this is the triangle and it can broke either side, okay? So these are patterns. These patterns are used to trap traders. Let me give you an example. They say go up. Okay, people are buying. You know that uh, market makers actually find it hard to trade because they are going against retail guys who have limited capital. Those guys open big position. I mean the real market makers, okay? They open big positions, okay, worth uh, billions of dollars or millions of dollars, okay? So they can't, if they want to sell, they can't sell their orders at the same time. They have to sell a portion, then uh, bring prices down, take them up again by taking them up again they are actually forcing retail guys to buy and they are selling remember for one to buy one has to be uh, to sell okay you can't sell if no one is willing to buy so market makers will always have to show you something trap you and reverse these are the three words i always use they show they trap okay and then they reverse okay sometimes the reversal can take days in our case we use one two three as our strategy okay uh, you already know about that so this is what the patterns do they say go up they are selling to you they pull prices down they say go up again they are selling to you when you are buying they pull prices down again they show you that they are going up you think they are going up okay because usually this happens after maybe three days of rally that's where they start trapping okay and as everybody's buying they are selling so this other kind of tricks they throw okay so it is our job to identify these tricks okay and know when traders are trapped okay and i'll show you this in a moment okay and then we have to know where there is a stop hunt i did say that stop hunts perform two function the first function is to send traders into the wrong direction okay and the second function is to close out those who are in profit we'll talk about this when we go to the charts and today i just added this do not be greedy okay guys do not be greedy uh the problem with most traders is actually the fact that uh sometimes they get a good trade and they want 100 pips let me tell you something 
you're not gonna get 100 pips every day but you can get 50 pips every day okay 50 pips every day so it's better to target 50 pips okay and then you can have uh, like you can open maybe three positions okay if you want to open a lot size of one you can just divide it into three maybe open three 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 and another position of one then you have opened a lot size of one okay okay and then the first two positions can target 50 this ensures that you get paid and then this other two like once they hit 50 you can allow them to go okay in case the market uh, goes further the most important thing is to lock profit guys get paid okay get paid okay that's the most important thing okay so don't be greedy don't be greedy and uh today i wrote something else it's not about the number of pips you get okay it's actually about the quality if you have a quality trade that is going to give you 50 pips and you take a bigger lot size on this one you have done far much better than someone who has taken a very small lot size and is waiting to get the maximum pips out of the market and this is one of the reasons why most traders are actually losing they are actually trying to get a uh, many pips from the market and the market will give you pips but it will come back for you and one thing i tell myself if i am in a profit of 50 pips okay and then the market comes and closes me I, I i i i i have a joke for myself where i call myself a fool okay i'm not saying people are fools that's what i do to myself i call myself a fool i can't be in a profit of 50 pips then uh, the market comes and closes me at a loss okay you must lock your profits yes i know i'm not contradicting myself i said cut your losses short and allow your wins to run okay yes that's what i said okay but you need to get paid okay this roughly 50 pips most cases i will say it's if you're risking 10 pips to make 50 that's one is to five okay but as i say divide your 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 lot sizes and have different uh take profits because you have to get paid okay so guys with that said let's go back to the charts because i don't want to dwell more on speaking uh okay 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 let me just show you something today i actually posted uh two trades that i took i took uh this was actually uh the pound uh aussie dollar okay okay yes pound aussie dollar and it's highly correlated obviously with the euro Aussie dollar so I took these two trades usually I take one but today I just decided to take two okay to take two and as I told you if you look at this picture you see I always draw a box this box shows me where traders are trapped and I always put this uh, dollar sign this dollar sign I put it at a place where I know people are at profit actually I put it at the low of the day the current lowest prices reached on the day i know that if they come and breach this price then it's a stop hunt you see this candle they just came to close those who were in profit this is a stop hunt okay it's the same thing i'm telling you about know where traders are trapped and also find the stop hunt don't try to beat the market okay that's exactly what i've been explaining and that's what i look for on a daily daily basis now i know here yeah, traders are trapped now i know this is a stop hunt i'm waiting for the equity opening time this is a five minute chart this candle here open the equity time go back to your outs you will see this candle you see this uh sort of dodgy this is the candle that opened the equity time and it was followed by what by a very big engulf i told you they can throw tactics send people down but they will never ever be able to hide their footsteps now they are done obviously they're going in one direction and don't be greedy the time by the time i posted this i say trade done and dusted okay and this was roughly 50 pips okay the reason i did this guys oh uh, well let me show you done and dusted okay the reason i did this is because i don't want to be holding for a for 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 thousand pips okay get paid get out of the market besides this is a non-farm week most moves won't be that big okay so get paid okay get paid so this is all i've been saying look one two three on a five minute chart one two three if you look at this this is what i've just draw 
drawn for you. This is this pattern. This is a triple bottom. Okay, this is a triple bottom. And you see, this is an important level. This is the law of yesterday. This is the law of yesterday, right? This is a key level. This is what I just showed you here. Key levels. Okay, so I'm going to show you the setup. Obviously, the time I told you, I'll wait till the equity opens. We had a key level. That was the law of the day. We had a pattern. That's where they were sending traders down. We had a stop hunt. Okay, and I wasn't greedy on this one. Okay, so guys, I believe uh, this will help you. Let's just jump to the chart, but I'm not going to dwell much on the charts because it, I want to pass the message okay so if you uh come and look at this this is actually the trade that i took today uh let's okay okay let's do something let's do something okay let's go to a one hour time frame and obviously i told you guys before i make this video i delete these levels intentionally because i want to follow the same process that i will every that that i actually do every day so that uh you can also start seeing the importance of uh doing this okay this is the high of the day okay and obviously i told you i want this uh levels to be visible okay i will always do this if i'm taking your time i'm sorry you can skip the you can skip this part but i want people who are really tired of losing okay i want people who are really tired of losing to actually uh follow uh, sorry uh, sorry about this i want them to be the ones who follow this process because I always follow this process okay you need this level guys and do this during the weekend I do it okay and I have a different um, uh, computer where I have all these levels drawn out and they are always there okay so when I come here on this one I always delete them okay Mm, previous week closing price okay this is the previous week's closing price and for those who are already following this channel you already know the colors that i'm gonna use because my process remains the same day in day out okay so guys this is what i do every day i want i will expect you to also do this every day okay uh just try to make your levels a little bit beautiful like uh keep them consistent as you can see some lines are extended this one is not extended okay so uh but for the following chart i won't do that for the sake of time i just want this video to be uh, quick okay i'm gonna post the the, the 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 playbook guys i'm gonna post it okay so if you look at this if you look at what we had here okay yes we had a head and shoulder on a bigger time frame but here's something that caught my attention okay this was day one okay this was the one where prices were going up okay uh yes this was the one where prices went up okay we did speak about these things where when they break this level this become the peak formation and we don't counter trend it and it eventually becomes day one okay we did talk about this guys okay in our in our setup if you didn't watch those videos please go to a playlist called understanding setups you find a video there where i explained all the setups in detail okay because that's the first thing you can't trade without a setup this was day two okay and uh coming today we were on day three okay we were actually on uh day three we were on day three okay uh yes we were roughly on day three okay but you you already know that there's a possibility for an inside day but what i was looking for was price to continue going up or else they could have reversed so the most important thing i told you we don't enter blindly we have to observe how prices behave okay uh at the correct time so for me i was expecting at least maybe a continuation so that we break the high and maybe we get the threes into the market but there's one thing that is uh highly important we are on a week of non-farm and uh weeks on non uh non-farm weeks are different because uh that's actually where they are starting to build a new monthly template because that's the first week of the month okay so that's something you have to be aware of okay you have to be aware of this fact okay okay now let's look at this trade this is the pound Aussie it moves well during 
the Asian session and the London session. Why? Because Aussie moves well during the Asian session and the pound moves well during the London session. So this first session obviously is the Asian session and this second session is obviously the London session. So what I usually do is I want to see who is in profit from the London session and this is what I do. Okay, this is the high of the Asian session and this is the low of uh, the Asian session. Okay, this is the lowest point we have actually reached. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine. And then we came uh, We came during the US session. I was on a, fifth, on a five minute time frame. Okay, so as we came, you see, they didn't come and break this low. Okay, usually I most of the time i want them to break but sometimes i have already told you that they won't break why because they already have trapped traders trap here and they don't want to release them they know that okay if they come here then most traders are gonna exit with uh, at a break even because sometimes you can tell when you were wrong by the moves that happen you can tell that i was wrong okay and when they come to break even you want to exit to trade okay you don't want to exit at a loss so most traders are like that okay so for us as i said already we are not trying to beat the market okay we are not trying to beat the market our job is actually to trade in line with them once they have actually beat the hell out of everybody okay so when we came let me show you what i did i was expecting them to break so let's first find the candle that opened the equity time it's gonna be 30 here okay 8.30 for me. Why? Because the broker is behind in two hours. Okay. Uh, so this is the candle. Let me uh, use a more visible color for everybody to see. Okay. Uh, this is the candle that actually opened the equity time. Okay. I don't trade before the equity opens. Okay. I don't trade until the equity opens. That's one way for me. And that's in my, uh, that's in my trading plan. So if I miss a move, it's not part of, uh, my training plan i don't even regret okay because uh, most of the time i'm gonna get this moves and that's what is important for me okay so let's first jump to this one that is also correlated with this one okay because i want to show you something uh i i've already explained this in my previous video i'm not gonna mark the highs and the lows okay on this one but let me show you something so that i can explain what happened there okay we know this ones are highly correlated right and they are more likely to do one thing okay so for this one they did close these guys and they gave a pure stop hunt so remember market makers are tricky okay that's why sometimes it's important to understand correlations okay and if you go to my forex uh I've already showed you this guys uh for those who didn't watch it let me say my uh let's see my fx book okay my fx book okay i'm gonna pull it in quite quick okay uh okay 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 actually if you go to my uh my forex book and then you just go to correlations and you search for correlations which are above 80 you will see that these pairs are correlated okay so they are most likely to behave in the same way and one thing market makers are more likely to do is uh they will be handling different uh crosses of the same pairs okay okay so here it's uh it's 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 euro uh aussie and here it's pound aussie okay so in this case on the euro they gave a break okay they stop hunted and then they started reversing so this is something i really saw and once i see this on a correlated and i saw that they were moving away from the trap traders obviously they they will do the same on uh the the, the pound hours why because these are highly correlated i've i explained the correlations in my previous video just go and watch my previous video i just don't want to be repeating and besides i want to keep this uh video uh short okay so once i saw that on the euro they have already broken okay i was observing carefully okay because for the euro let me show you something i'm on a five minute time frame okay for the euro sorry guys i'm showing you a lot of things but i hope this makes sense this is the one that opened the equity time and then immediately after five minutes they engulfed the same thing applies to this one this is the one that opened and they engulfed and already we had tr 
trap traders we did talk about this where most of the time they trap traders below a level right we did talk about this okay so what i'm trying to show you is why i actually took this one even though it didn't break to the downside okay i used correlations okay because there's there are certain times where they they already have trapped uh volume and they don't want to go and release them so markets will do that okay okay so because here they did break okay and this uh pairs are correlated and now they were moving away from trap volume at the same time that's why i was confident enough to come and take this one okay based on correlations and behaviors okay correlations and behaviors correlations and behaviors that's the most important thing okay that's the most important thing i took this trade right here as i showed you in the community okay and the reason i took it was actually because i knew that they have trapped traders they're sending everybody down and to make it worse when the session begins for the first hour they use the whole hour to send people down and obviously i told you i was expecting a continuation so that we get day three okay day three okay uh, on a bigger time frame i told you that this was day one this was day two and we were on day three possibly we were gonna get a day three but we didn't get it today and again there was this head or sh uh, head and shoulder i was concerned about it but for me i'm looking for 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 an opportunity based on my setup so i had this setup today and i took this trade all the way back to uh the traders who were in profit all the way back to these guys who were actually in profit as you can see these are the guys who were actually in profit okay let me i always show this with a dollar sign okay these were the guys who were in profit so i took this trade all the way back here and i closed it the moment it hit here okay okay today i didn't want to trail because we are on a non-farm week so most moves are not gonna be as they would uh normally on a normal week that is not the first week because now they are establishing a new weekly template and you know they are more likely to actually uh, build liquidity so that they punish everybody on friday during non-form i did mention this in my previous video so guys don't be greedy okay don't be greedy i just took it to this level okay so they didn't break the law but this was a stop hunt let me just show you for the session here you see this was a stop hunt because they were sending everybody down everybody down and people were actually buying here got stop hunted here okay because there are people who bought here so they got stop hunted here and even people were in profit here they got stopped out with spreads remember they use spread as an extra hand so that is why sometimes they will not come back and stop hunt to close people below because they have already done that with spread so i know the game of spread shouldn't be allowed why because obviously it gives our market our makers an advantage okay it gives market makers an advantage but it is what it is so these guys were in profit here yes they got stopped by a by a by by by, by spread and this is a common practice that they do so you have to be careful of this okay so i took this trade it took me after roughly after an hour i was already out of the trade in profits okay so another trade i took was this one this one at least went to 50 bips okay and the same thing applies as compared to i told you they are correlated the same thing applies um okay the same thing applies if you actually look at this you'll see that okay uh let me just draw a sh I'm, not, I'm just gonna draw these levels but i'm not gonna actually mark them uh, for the sake of the length of the video. I don't want my videos to become long. Okay. I want to make short videos that will actually accommodate each and every person. So this is the low. This is the high. This is last week's. Uh, uh, last of last week's uh, closing price. Which is crucial. Okay. Which is highly crucial. Uh, you know I used dark green. And this is this week's. Uh, uh, last week's closing price. Okay. So this is Friday's closing price. These are just simple indicators that uh, we use. You already know if you're following this channel. And this is something you do during the weekend. And for those who are confused, 
there's an indicator in the description you can download it for free for free per day closing price as you can see you see per day closing price okay so it's just the closing price of friday okay so this is a key level as we have mentioned key levels okay so guys uh this was day one let me just mark it out for everybody to see okay because the most important thing actually is to have a setup and guys please go and put in the work okay go and put in the work okay go and put in the work practice these things learn these things if you want to be a trader on honestly you must put in the work unless if you are trying to learn a thousands of setup at the same time then it's gonna take you maybe 10 years to learn the same thing and then after 10 years you realize that you wasted time by just trying to find the best strategy out there rather than taking something that you understand and mastering it okay because honestly uh one thing that will delay you for sure is trying to actually learn this setup today tomorrow you're watching this one you're learning this setup the next day you are watching this one you're learning this setup that is gonna delay you i i i i i'm honest about this okay i'm honest about this one thing that will delay you in this career is trying to learn multiple strategies that's why in in in, in my playbook i actually um showed one strategy which is uh my favorite okay why because i don't want people going out there and looking for multiple setups that's just gonna delay you okay it's gonna take you 10 years and you won't be anywhere after 10 years because you're trying to get somebody posts hey this strategy works 95 percent you trying to learn it guys you're just gonna delay yourself and that can take you 10 to 20 years or some of you will end up quitting trading okay master one setup okay focus on it look for that setup if you don't have it on the day it's okay do nothing don't trade okay don't trade okay be there every day do your analysis but take what actually aligns with 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 uh with your with your setup that is the most important thing okay so you see day one day two and today yes i actually was anticipating that we will get a day three however i told you even if you don't have a strategy do not even if you have a setup don't enter blindly okay because price have to confirm and don't try to beat the market don't try to outsmart the market okay let's go to the trade that i took uh sorry guys i'm explaining a lot of things and i know for some of you it's hard to follow but what i'm trying to do is to is actually to show people what works okay what works okay so guys as we said the first thing is to have a setup i showed you the setup we were on day three i was expecting roughly prices to go and break out but i also know that we are on a non-farm week where they are more likely to squeeze 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 create liquidity up and down up and down up and down then punish on friday so don't be greedy that was my last point so let's look at this on a few on a five minute time frame okay i love the 15 minute but the five minute oaks also is good because it shows you what they've done what did i say let's go back to 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 what we said okay uh okay 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 guys let me erase all this red things that we have been explaining okay let's look at this point by point setup it was day three time i told you i come during the equity time and i've highlighted the candle that opens the equity time which now gives me a green color which is now you can start uh, looking for your entries and stuff okay and i talked about key levels okay we're gonna look at that okay i talked about trading uh trapping which is a pattern okay we're gonna look at uh, that we talked about stop hands we're gonna look at that as well and we talked about the fact that you should never be greedy okay so okay let's look here what do we have okay we have a key level which is the low okay of yesterday okay uh for those who are new this is just an indicator where it just shows the highest point that yesterday reached as you can see this is the highest point that yesterday reached and it's uh reflected here and this is the lowest point that uh yesterday reached and it's reflected here the same going to the previous days okay you if uh you can just draw a line dotted line just make sure you know this levels okay so let me come back to my five minutes okay my five minutes oh, okay sorry guys so as you can see we are at the low okay we are at this level this is the low and i told you i want to know 
who is in profit so that i know who has been stop hunted okay because i told you stop hunts perform two functions one is to send people into the wrong direction and the second function is to close those who are in profit so as you can see the day opened here okay so this is the lowest point that asia reached okay okay and basically uh this is the highest point that asia, uh, that asia reached okay this is the high of asia i'm taking after the session times okay these are the small things that you have to understand we are not trying to beat the market okay we're just trying to find out when the market has beat the hell out of people so that we go in line with them okay okay so this is what we have this is what we have okay and now let's look uh let's uh let's follow our guide Let's follow our guidelines. Okay, the first thing is the setup. I showed you the setup. I was expecting maybe day three. We were on day three. Yesterday, we got day two longs. Okay, okay, fine. The setup is out of the way. The time is the equity. I've highlighted it. Okay, this is the candle. This doji candle is the candle that opened the equity time. Fine. We have all uh, uh, spoke about it. Okay, good. And then uh, key levels. Key levels. Obviously, we are at the low. Okay, not only the low of yesterday, but the low was point that asia has reached as well okay fine and then let's go again we are looking for trapping okay for trapping we did mention some kind of uh patterns okay double top triple top on all sort of stuff okay so now let's uh let's try to follow up or uh, let's try to follow we have one down two down three down on the session itself so they're saying go down one go down two go down three if you look at this carefully you realize that uh it's all about what you see okay this is a shoulder uh sorry this is a shoulder let me just blow it up this is a shoulder uh this here is a shoulder again okay and uh this here is a head okay okay this is a head okay so basically we have a shoulder head shoulder and that's something i just uh explained right here that we have a shoulder head shoulder these are just patterns guys okay these are just uh patterns okay so we have shoulder head shoulder okay and then let's look at another guideline that we have right here uh what was it what was the last one stop hunt okay we did talk about the fact that stop hunts have two functions first of all it sends people in the wrong direction and secondly it closes those who are in profit so coming to this to this session that opened right here who was in profit obviously these guys were in profit and the people who sold at the beginning of the session were in profit okay so we know that everybody who sold here who bought not sold everybody who bought here was actually in profit okay okay so let's see they come and bounce create liquidity i told you when they hit a level so perfect like this i become curious okay i don't want to jump in and beside i couldn't jump in here because i'm waiting for the equity to open which is uh which is 3 30 us time for me here it was 10 30 in south africa 10 30 a.m that's when my london session opens okay 4 30 p.m that's when my uh us session opens okay so uh okay if you look at this candle this candle here came and closed. Actually, these candles here, they came and closed everybody who was in profit. And here's something funny. I told you, it sent people in the wrong direction and closes. The first function was performed where it closed everybody who was in profit right here. And let's look for the second function. You see this candle, it's a pin. But it didn't just become a pin. That's something you must understand. This candle was a very big candle going down. I was looking at it, okay? It's a very big candle going down. What does it serve? What does it do? Obviously, it triggers people to go down. Why? Because it's a breakout. Those who believe in breakout, they broke out of this level, okay? They broke out of yesterday's low. Everybody thinks it's a move that is going down. Breakout traders are in the market right now, okay? okay and this candle was a very big engulf look at it it was a big engulf going down so people got uh their entries on this candle and we spoke about the fact that they trap below the level okay most of the time they are gonna trap below the level okay i believe this makes it easy for everybody to see where traders are trapped okay because they are more likely to trap below the level what is a trap they are sending everybody down how do they trap people they use patterns okay you must be able to read when they're saying go down go down go down there is a reason they're sending you down i told you when they want to buy they obviously 
uh, have to show you that they are going down so that you sell. People are selling this move. You see, this is a big engulfing candle. People are selling it. People sold here. People sold here again. Okay. Okay. So you must understand when they say go down, go down, there is a reason. Let me re explain this again. For one to buy, somebody has to sell. And the markets will always do three things they will show. Okay. They will trap and they will reverse. Okay. At the right time, from the right level, you can use this EMA to confirm your entry. Okay. So personally, for me, I was in here. The moment this candle closes, I was in. I don't compromise on that. Okay. And I'm not scared. What if they close me? What if they close me? I told you, wins and losses means nothing. Just execute your trade day in, day out. If they close you, it's fine. You're not going to win all trades. If they close you, okay, you take this trade. You put your stop below here. You know that if they close you, then your setup was is completely invalidated it is no longer what it was so you can exit with peace okay cut your losses short let your wins run okay this is roughly one is to five win uh, risk reward okay so i was in these moves mostly are quick these moves are quick in an hour i got my 50 pips okay these are the most quickest moves i told you this is a different week because of non-form. But mostly if it wasn't non-form, obviously I was going to open a number of positions and allow some to go. But it's non-form. That's something you have to understand. I'm out. So early today during the London session, I took these two trades and I was completely out of the market. I closed my computer. I switched it off and I was done for the day. Okay, I was done for the day. Easy, easy, easy. Less than an hour quick okay these moves are quick why because they have already finished their jobs okay they completed their job i told you don't try to beat the market don't try to be smart they will trick people but they can never hide their footstep why do they use always use an engulf somebody will say but this 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 guys this thing has been there for decades they have been moving like this for many years okay they have been doing this only a small group of people is actually seeing this. Only a small group of people has identified this. You know why? Because people are moved by emotions. Okay. People believe in this. People jump. Okay. Not everybody knows uh, when the markets are going to move. Where are they going to move from? How do they actually move? Okay. So guys, take what aligns with your strategy or your setup if it's not there don't take anything for me today during the asia i only took this one because i had a setup on them and everything worked well for me at a level and all these criteria were met that's the most important thing for me all these criteria were met okay okay so let's go to gold uh this is the last one i believe i'm gonna be quick on this one okay gold i had a I had a I had a setup, okay, because I'm not gonna draw the lines, guys. Okay, we did a video where we talked about gold the day before. This was day one of going down, okay. This was day one of going down. Let's make it red. And this was uh, day one of breakouts in the market, okay. They broke out on this day, okay, okay. They broke they broke the law. Obviously, yes, you can see they broke the law of the previous day. And then uh, it was followed by a day two of breakouts. Okay, I explained the strategy in detail. For those who have been following this channel, you already know. Okay, so uh, this is another day where we broke the law. Okay, and today obviously I was uh, kind of it was day three. I was expecting that. Okay, we can we can get day three of breakouts into the market. Okay, we can get day three of breakouts, but I'm not greedy. If I'm in a trade, I'm not gonna wait for them to 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 to, to hit the breakout. I'm gonna get paid, okay? But already I told you this is a week of non-form. Anything is possible. They are more likely to squeeze. Go and look at uh uh last month. You realize that they also squeezed everybody, more especially when it comes to gold, okay? And then non-farm they hit hit. So that's what they do most of the time if there is non-farm. So let's go to uh this is something I want to be quick on, okay? Let's go to uh, uh on this one. 
on gold i uh, took a trade on a one minute time frame okay this was what i was expecting so who was in profit uh this is the lowest level that uh they reached this is the highest level that they've reached in asia and this is the highest level they've reached in uh london okay i wasn't trading it and this is the lowest uh, price they've reached in London. And today we had news. Let's go to one minute time frame so that you can see. Um, I'm not going to dwell much on this one, guys. I'm going to be quite quick, okay? And this is the news candle. This is the news candle, okay? Uh, where did the equity open? Uh, 30, 30, 30, 30. It opened right here on this somewhere here. I, yes, because I was looking at it. So this is the candle that opened the equity time okay and uh if you look just look at this 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 okay just look at this just look at this ask yourself who is in the money now okay because what did they manage to do let's uh go back to five minutes you see they managed to k to come back let me show you they came back to almost this high okay this is an m pattern we talked about the patterns and the importance of patterns. You see, the patterns always win, okay? So they came back and they closed some of the people who sold after this pattern. You know, people want to have tight stops and all sort of stuff. So they closed people who actually sold somewhere around here, okay? So that's something you must understand, okay? And who was in profit? Uh, after they are tricks, let me show you who was in profit after the tricks they did because uh this is important guys so let's go back to our one minute as you have seen mm, that's what i wanted to show you let's go back to our one minute time frame okay because uh usually when there is news i like coming to one minute but i always open uh three charts on different monitors one minute five minutes and 15 minutes okay because i want to see exactly what happens so i'm not on the market when all of this nonsense is happening i did come and observe the news but i saw that okay the news were just trapping sending people up here's a question why are they sending everybody up why are they sending everybody up why are they sending people up okay this is uh the candle that opened the news okay i want to show you something very important so i only started observing or looking for an entry here okay if it is given and one thing i noticed when they broke here okay i recorded this as a stop hunt why they're sending people up okay they've been sending people up 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 go up you can see go up okay and then all of a sudden they break they're sending people up on this break look at how aggressive it is guys quick moves are usually traps when you are at a level and you see them going sharply quick expect a stop hunt okay quick moves are usually stop hunts so they the people who actually uh executed after this candle and funny enough these people got trapped so literally literally everybody going up from here is trapped i told you your job is not to beat the market i told you your job is not to outsmart the market you'll never do that in your lifetime okay many failed your job is to actually find where traders have been trapped everybody going up here is trapped okay and then yes they come they break but they don't give these people profit okay they don't allow them profit maybe many people saw this and they were selling that's why they had to do this and then what do they do they give us a pattern you see this is a double top what did we say this is a double top we spoke about the patterns we spoke about the patterns okay we spoke about the patterns you see this is an m it's a double top okay uh, i don't want to dwell much on this one anyway okay i just want you to see oh you see this is an m then they broke down i saw this candle breaking down it's a very big engulf that actually closed inside here okay but uh i didn't take this trade okay i didn't take this trade here i'll show you where i took it you see i saw this one i could have entered here okay okay but usually i i i usually i enter here but i saw this one and i was expecting to see that small pump going up so that it can collapse but usually i enter here okay but i wanted to see that because gold was just a little bit choppy so i wanted to see that pump going up then dropping then so when i 
would have entered but no i didn't and what did they do they went down i don't chase candle guys you see they gave a big candle they gave a big candle again i'm not mad i'm not gonna sell here i am never mad if they go let them go i don't care okay i want to preserve my capital don't chase the move they want you to chase the move okay this is a breaking structure now they broken the structure okay this is a breaking structure it's fine i was waiting for a pullback and they pulled back as i was watching they gave this uh this is my favorite candle you see this hammer it's my favorite candle if it's at the high i am happy okay so they came back towards the pattern and what did they do they engulfed and this engulfed closed inside the ema this is where i executed my trade okay i'm just honest with all of you this is where i took my trade after this engulf because that doji guys is very very powerful okay let me uh no okay see they went up to close those who chased the move okay and that's already after the equity has opened they've already stop hunted everybody in profits and you see they also came and closed these guys who sold here okay so they were just sending people up and when they closed it i took my trade okay and obviously i had a take profit of 50 okay why it's a non-farm week i'm not expecting a uh, very big moves but honestly i was expecting them to come and break out okay you see the breakout breakout is too far you see i was expecting them to break out but again it's a non-farm week and i took my trade and it gave me i took my 50 pips i was taken out 50 pips okay we was uh taken out yeah i took 50 pips okay i took 50 pips okay i took my 50 pips where was it 50 straight on the line dot i took 50 pips and i left it to run okay why because it's a non-farm week and i want to get paid don't be greedy you see they gave me my 50 pips just after closing everybody from the news candle so guys this is expected and uh they i think they managed to come down here yes they managed to come and close these people here so as i always say if the market goes 50 pips and closes me i always call myself a fool because i gave back a lot of profits okay so this was the trade i took actually today i had three trades i was supposed to have two but because of the correlations i had i took uh the pound aussie and the euro aussie okay but usually i will choose one out of these just that today i saw that they have set up very well and yeah it was a good day guys and i only had three trades 50 50 and one gave me roughly 40 this one gave me roughly 40 and i was happy to run away with it okay and i had to call it a day okay it's not about the number of pips it's about the quality so my advice is try to get 50 pips now if you are still new get those 50 pips get those 50 pips and you will learn when to actually try to get uh uh more pips but most importantly the quality take this with size seven minutes it was done let me count for you one two three four five six seven you see seven minutes seven to eight minutes the trade was done the trade was done in seven minutes it couldn't get better than this you get paid in seven minutes which job will pay you in f uh, for, for 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 doing your job in seven minutes this one got paid in less than an hour this is amazing this one got paid in less than an hour so uh, so today i literally worked uh uh roughly one hour seven minutes let's just say one hour ten minutes and yeah everything was good but guys you have to know that once they have trapped after the equity open that move is gonna blow off very quick okay and that's one way you will be able to get this kind of moves okay so just for a quick recap before i close you must have a setup in place i showed you my setups which actually uh, guided my direction after price is confirmed okay I always wait for the equity time this helps me maintain my patience and i know they're going to use mostly the first hour to trap and do their nonsense and once they are done with their job there's nothing left for them but to go key levels are very important because they are most likely to react uh, on those key levels obviously trapping they trap with patterns so mu you must understand patterns i think i will make another video about patterns okay stop hunt is highly highly important because when they stop hunt they are done okay and lastly don't be greedy guys don't be greedy okay 
If you bust that taking 50 pips, you will be highly profitable. Believe me. It doesn't matter if sometimes it has got 150 pips. Yes, on Monday, I took gold and it gave me 150 pips, okay? But I didn't hold, okay? So, uh, if you understand this, you'll be profitable. Believe me, okay? So, guys, I thank you a lot. And I'm sorry this video is uh, too long. And I'm also apologizing because I was supposed to upload that uh, book. And I will I will upload it, guys. I will upload it, okay? I will upload it. Uh, there are some reasons that delayed me. And I apologize for that. And guys i wish you the best tomorrow there will be plenty of opportunities just be patient be patient yes there are some moves that will happen before the equity time it's fine okay sometimes i miss okay but i'm not worried because it's not part of my plan but guys stay true to your plan okay stay true to your plan and yeah i wish you all the best don't try to outsmart the market don't try to beat the market wait for the market to beat the hell out of everybody once that is done You'll get the opportunity and you'll be good to go. Thank you, guys.